Well, uh, good evening and welcome back to the basement. Uh, last weekend I did a uh, demonstration and an exclamation, uh, explanation of some of these old electrical components. These are basically old knob and tube equipment. Uh, just let me, as you can see, we have an old 1950s outside light hooked up there. I had a few knobs, porcelain knobs just nailed onto this board and got this old Perkins light switch here that dates from 1912. There is actually a patent date on the back of that. Uh, this old fuse box here, this is a safety, this is a disconnect fuse box. That's a Westinghouse safety switch date of 1938 on it. I decided just because I could, I decided I'd try these and see if they would actually still function. Uh, I want you to make believe that these are 10 gauge wires coming into this. Uh, this is actually just just a plug-in cord. Uh, I actually did put some loom on there and pass it through a Rome, an old ancient Romex connector. I did put a 15 amp fuse in here just to be somewhat safe. Um, so I checked everything. I checked. I took my voltmeter here and checked for continuity between all of these terminals in this box, and everything tested good. The biggest thing that I was obviously concerned with was this 1912 switch. This old Perkins switch. These things are kind of sketchy. Uh, I'll just take this apart and zoom in here on it. Some really old insulation there. Um, there's a if the if this whatever this insulation is that they used on these contacts I don't know if it's some kind of you know, phenolic plastic or what it is bake light who knows but amazingly amazingly this thing tested good for insulation and I'll show you that right now so we're gonna we're going to go with a continuity test. I'll put that voltmeter right there. So what I'm doing, I'm just trying to make sure that this shaft... Let me zoom in here a little bit. To readjust my camera just a little bit. So basically what I'm trying to do is make sure that the shaft does not get energized with power when the switch is turned on or off for that matter. So as we can see, if we make continuity, and as you can tell, nothing makes continuity. However, this does over here. Now, I want to test this even further. Um, I could test this for resistance. So let's see what we have for resistance here. According to that, thing is open. So if I touch this with my two fingers, I'm getting a reading. So that's a good thing. There's nothing there for continuity. That's a good thing. So I guess that leaves the one thing left to do, and that is try this out and turn it on. We're going to reassemble this old switch. See, the big concern was I was afraid the shaft is going to get energized, and there is a chance that that there's a fairly good chance that that can touch this this old uh, cover. So, in fact, there's 
practically 100% certainty that it does touch it. <laughs> to be honest with you. Alright, so that's turned off. Let me lean this ahead here so you guys can actually see. You can see that that says off. It's upside down there right now. And when I turn that, it says on. So, I guess that leaves us... I'm going to bring you guys over here a little bit. Zoom me back out. Readjust the camera angle just a little bit. I'm sorry if there's... It looks like it's a little bit junky there in the background, but really it's just a bunch of wire and stuff that's there. So I can step around this thing. And this old extension cord I have here is a little bit worn out. It needs to be probably thrown away. I had some trouble getting some connection into that thing. I thought there was actually something wrong with this stuff. But Okay, so the proper thing to do here, I don't know if you guys can see or not, but this is wired up as just a single phase. This is just wired up 120 volts. There's no second phase over here on this side. So, so just one fuse working here. So we're gonna click that together and Oh, why not? We'll take this voltmeter and see see if we can't make sure that there's some power there. Uh, I hope you guys can see this. We're going to go to the center neutral terminal in here. And as you can see, we got 123.4 volts. Now we'll just do a little continuity check across here to make sure that this switch is not active. Hope you guys can see that. Maybe you can, maybe you can't, but so it's showing about seven, six, seven volts on that. So I'm thinking there's probably no continuity there. So we're going to turn this and see if this light comes to life. And it does. As you can tell. That is the 1950s outside light that I have just barely setting on there. It's just cinched down onto those wires. It's not pinching them very hard. So check this again. See what we got here for voltage with that turned on. Now it's showing like it's bouncing back and forth a little bit. 15, 16, 17 volts. I'm not getting electrocuted off of it, so it's probably not live. Anyways, I thought that was a pretty cool thing to try right there to see if I could make that thing work. Now this, well, let me unplug this before I accidentally touch something and get electrocuted. Okay, obviously this is not the way this would be done. This switch is just barely tightened down onto these wires. Obviously there will be holes drilled through this board and these wires would pass straight through it and onto the wall studs in the back. But I may do that later on now that I know that actually does work. Obviously, I'm not going to leave this together and try to use this for anything. This is just as unsafe as can be. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I thought maybe you guys might get a chuckle out of that. Uh, I'm certainly impressed at how well some of that really old stuff actually lasts and and not only does it last, it actually still works the way that it was designed to work. It's pretty amazing. Back when stuff was made in the good old USA and was made to last. I wouldn't even dare guess how much that little porcelain switch would cost. That 
back in 1912. It's hard to say that might have cost three to four dollars back then. That would have been a substantial amount of money. But anyways, uh, I'll cut you guys off there. I don't want this video to be too awfully long. Have a good evening.